the SBL Highlights are proudly presented by Coca-Cola Bottles. Good afternoon and thanks for staying with us. Well, it's been a Golden West Network Satellite Sports Special feast today. What a great win for Hawthorne, by the way, if you caught it by one goal. A fantastic game. Stay tuned in just a moment. We're going to take you to Perth to witness the clash between Burswood Redbacks and Geraldton's Batavia Buccaneers. Yes, it's the SBL final. And with me in the studio is Southwest Slammers coach Marty Zeller. Thanks for joining us, Marty. Thank you, Tim. Uh, if I can't be there with the team in the grand final or in the finals, then it's uh, good to be part of it. So I'm glad to be here. Okay, now look, how do you think they can go, Geraldton? It's their first season in the SBL. Can they pull it off? Well, everyone's saying that uh, Batavia's dream run is coming to an end, and I really don't see it that way. Uh, what they don't understand is Batavia Buccaneers have Brian Fundersland at point guard, and he's the best point guard in the, in the league, and some say the best player in the league. He's won the MVP two years in a row, and uh, that just goes to show what type of player he is. The reason I mentioned Brian and, and being a point guard more than Dan Hunt for Batavia Buccaneers is that Brian handles the ball 90% of the time. And when you have someone, a player on the court handling the ball 90% of the time, and he's a smart player, he's going to limit the turnovers. And the turnovers are going to depend, turnovers will be the key to this game. We're getting some pictures here, Marty. Talk us through this. Well, right here, they're going to match up uh, Burswood on Brian, and that's what they've got to stop right there is the three-point shots. Because Batavia, like I said, Brian's going to be handling the ball. He's, danger he's dangerous from the outside. He's a threat, and he's a threat when he penetrates because he can still pull up for the easy shot inside, or he can dish off to Dan Hunt, uh, Ray Chamberlain, any of his support players, and, and Gavin Burnett, and uh, Brian Dukas. So he is the... He is a threat constantly, with or without the ball. As you saw a minute ago, he stole the ball from um, Blyhoff or Burswood, I can't remember who. Terrellton plays great defense. Um, I'd say the second best defense to the Slammers. And uh, as you saw right there, they're gonna let, they're gonna let, uh, they're gonna let Burswood take the shots from outside. Uh, Burswood, they are definitely are good three-point shooters so they can't let them have them if they consistently make them. But I think what you'll see right away is that they'll give them the shot from outside. Uh, when they do take that shot, you'll see help, good help from the Batavia Buccaneers, uh, and they'll be in rebound position, their support players. That's what their support players do so well for the Buccaneers. Just explaining maybe to people who haven't seen this before, now this was their last clash. Now, uh, the Redbacks in this instance, they came off the best, didn't they? What was it, the Redbacks by nine points? Yes, the Redbacks won by nine points. They did have Luke Longley back. Uh, this is what the Batavia Buccaneers have to stop, is the he running game. He won't be game. there today, will they? Right here, see, this is uh, Burswood's game. If, if Batavia lets them run, they're in trouble because they've got so much talent, number one. You just can't let them run. You've got to mm -hmm. slow down the game. They've got to control the tempo of this game. Right. Okay, Marty, we'll wind it up there. We'll take you to uh, the start of the SBL Grand Final in just a moment in Perth. Else coming up right after this break. Should be a good one. Road, See you later. Let's have a Coke. Can't it. Ah. Hey, Can you tell us where the waves are? Hey, hey, hey. Personally, I think the original Peter's drumstick is unbeatable. Vanilla ice cream with peanuts and chalk. But some people just can't go past the triple mm. chalk drumstick. Unbeatable. There's others, too, who just go for caramel vanilla. Unbeatable. And a friend who's a real mint freak. Won't try anything but the mint drumstick. Unbeatable. But when I want to spoil myself, the very original Peter's drumstick. I really like the chalk line cone. 
Before seeding, harvesting, pumping or general operation of machinery, check for worn belts, pulleys, chains, sprockets and couplings. Stop costly downtime. See your local Transtech distributor now for a placement sent free Olympic V-belts. Replacement Maxton chains and sprockets for grain elevators, harvesters and machinery. Graphite couplings, cast iron and alloy pulleys for headers, stationary motors and pumping equipment. For the full range of industrial transmission components, call or visit your local Transtech distributor and avoid costly downtime. Walt Disney Pictures presents... I'm a fox. I'm a hound dog. Two friends having fun. Two friends sharing adventures. Two friends who don't know they're supposed to be enemies. We'll always be friends forever. It's an electrifying story you can only see in theaters. Run, Dad, run! Filled with breathtaking adventure and foot-stomping fun. Pick up at my b -b -b beak. The Fox and the Hound. Showing at these cinemas on these dates. Ratton and Slater, your Ford dealer in Esperance, have gone bananas. They're doing incredible deals on all new vehicles. See Phil Thomas for huge savings on the range of Ford Falcons, economic lasers, and the classic Telstar. Check out their hard-working commercial range of Ford Courier and Ford Maverick at unbelievable prices. Go bananas at Ratton and Slater, Esperance, and save on superb new vehicles at incredibly low prices. They're the one. Call in and see Phil Thomas today. Welcome to the GWN viewers and the inaugural 1989 SBL Grand Final between the Batavia Buccaneers and the Burswood Redbacks. Looking at the Perth lineup tonight as Sid Stevens calls them together, my co-commentator Brad Chechens. Andrew Blahoff, number 11. Daryl Pace is going to jump. He's number 32. Craig Evans is 24. And uh, Peter Catlanian and Matt Bizart, the man to watch, number 52 for the Redbacks. And for the Buccaneers, Big Dan Hunt, Ray Chamberlain, Brian Fundingsland, Aaron Dukas and Gavin Burnett. And can the Buccaneers take it off the red-hot favourites here? We'll soon find out. As the ball goes up, Hunt gets the touch, but Peter Catlanzian comes down with the first possession of this grand final. Off to Evans on the right-hand side now. Evans pulls up, out to meet Matt Bissart. Bissart looking to find Blahoff inside. The big boomer forward, off to Catlanzian, back to Bissart, and we've got the first violation, which is a travel. Matt Bissart turns the ball over, and the Buccaneers come up with possession. Inlet pass to Dan Hunt. Dan Hunt averaging 36 points a game and 18 rebounds. Sensational as Funningsland on the drive. Finger roll, two points. He opens his account. He's averaging 31 as the Buccaneers take the lead. Two zip. First flood to the Buccaneers. Evans out on long skip pass to Blahop. Out past the three-point line. First one's up. We've got an off-the-ball foul. That's on Bissart. Bissart caught in the keyway there for pushing Hunt to one side. Peter Lucas very emphatic with that call. And the Buccaneers come up with their second possession and a chance to make this uh, lead four points. Well, the Redbacks are playing a man-to-man -man defense. Petty Catalani on Brian Funningsham. What a great matchup that is. Two superb players. Excellent hands. The fouls against Catalanian. The score doesn't count. And uh, it'll be a sideline ball for the Batavia Buccaneers. The Bucks looking to create basketball history. Their first year in the competition have done a superb job making the final as... Uh, Finishing up minor premiers. Ray Chamberlain. Number seven, Hunt for three. Rims out. Andrew Vlahoff. As John's already mentioned, the Australian boomer. Craig Evans, member of the Wildcat squad, takes the ball of the hoop. Great weak side help from Dan Hunt. Let's Evans know that uh, he's going to block anything that comes his way. Foul's already called, and it'll be... Craig Evans on the line for two. A lot of contact already in this game, and uh, Sid Stevens and Peter Lucas have got firm control. They're calling the fouls early. They're not allowing any contact to get away. They want to stamp their authority on this match as Craig Evans has his first opportunity to open the scoring. That's the first one. It's good. Two plays one. Barely a minute gone in this match, and you can feel the tension out there already, Brad, as Evans takes the second one. It's successful, also. We're all tied up, 
The 11-minute mark, yes, Craig Evans averaging 19 points a game. This is Aaron Dukas. He's had a great first up year in this league. Hunt, Chamberlain, came from East Perth. Remember the East Perth a Premiership team last year. Funnings land over the screen for three. No good as Daryl Pace drags in a great rebound. The outlets to Catlandian. Blahoff to the right, goes his way. Good defensive effort by Brian Funningsland to hold up that play. Catlandian looks for the shot. He had Bizart, low post, misses. Catlandian comes up. Oh, great hands by Funningsland. Great steal by Funningsland as he leads the charge. Dishes off to Burnett. Burnett goes out. And there's a great block by Blahoff. Blahoff puts a hand to that. Funningsland pulls it back into Burnett. Burnett pulls the ball out to Dukas. Dukas now defines Chamberlain on the right-hand side. First shot for Chamberlain, unsuccessful. And that's the second big defensive rebound for Daryl Pace. And he dishes all ball off to Catalangelin. And back with that skip pass to Vlahoff that's proved so effective for them this year. Bishart posting up, turning around, putting the ball to the floor, back to the point. Evans on the right-hand side, throws the fake, takes the dribble, pump fake. Shot unsuccessful on the foul. Dukas, first foul of the match for him. And Craig Evans goes to the foul line for the second time in this match. Well, we're seeing, John, the same as last week's semi-final against the Hopman Cup Hawks with the Redbacks. Very little movement through the keyway. They're swinging the ball out wide. And uh, for mind, I think they really do need to look a little bit closer inside. I think all year they've relied... Training regime. Others, however, continue to look for key players. The Southwest Slammers begin training next week. However, while the side has yet to sign any Americans, it's believed that James Fitch is on his way back to Australia and will play with the Slammers again this year. It's understood that the Bunbury side also is having talks with former Raiders player Joe Rennier. If the reports are correct, however, Fitch and Rennier also might end up with the Kenyana Kings. It's understood that the Mandurah team also is keen to sign the two Americans. Coach Don Milovilovic is back for another season, as is Carl Gonda. He's just waiting on his visa. In Geraldton, Dan Hunt is gearing up for his first season as a playing coach, and while the Bucks have a second American lined up, they won't release details until he's signed on the dotted line. The Goldfields Giants also are being secretive about the appointment of their new coach. Though he's signed, the Giants have refused to give details until later in the week. The Giants still are looking for two American players. Paul Lavos, Golden West Television News. Ahead tonight as we continue the news hour, a road death... Six plays to eight minutes, 57 seconds remaining, and Brian Bunningsland brings the ball down. This is it off to Dukas. Dukas throws the fake, unsuccessful, intimidated there by the size, but Bunningsland, as he has done all year, scrapping for the ball, takes the dribble, dishes off again, great body control, excellent dribbling. Hunt from the perimeter, unsuccessful. Pace for the rebound, out of bounds. Peter Lucas looking at Pace there and saying, yes, you did. Off your foot, foot on the line when it came out. And Batavia, backed by this very pro Geraldton crowd, they've all travelled down to cheer for their team, are very keen on that particular call. Funny hands penetrated a number of times. He tends to dish off. Perhaps he should look at his own shot, as Chamberlain does. In and out. Evans seeing a lot of the ball early in the match so far. OK, back into his zone, the Buccaneers. Bizarre, big step, loses his footing, ball spills out, Buccaneers ball. Six plays two, the interesting, eight mark. Interesting, Brad, that Bizarre is going inside and posting up all year. He's been a tower of strength from the perimeter and shooting a lot of three-pointers, but they're sending him inside. Also, Burswood have come out with the zone to change the possession now. They're scrapping for the ball. They're obviously concerned as Pace comes up with a foul. It's good uh, defense, too, by Craig Evans and uh, Daryl Pace to tie the ball up. Silly hands foul now, uh, those, and uh, spoiled that play. Ray Chamberlain to inbound the ball. The eight-minute marks. Four-point lead to the Redbacks. Looking to make a double. Their women won earlier as Blahoff picks up the deflected pass, lays it in for it. Oh, he doesn't lay it in. Careless should have done a much better job than that. Should have been more successful there. But they have another chance. They're on the break again. Two plays, one. Evans behind the back pass. Blahoff does a mistake for this one. Plays two, 7.40 remaining. The Burswood Redbacks 
Well, already building up a nice little six-point cushion. Red backs in his own. Oh, Brian Funnings' hand goes everywhere except through customs as Burnett picks up a charge. No, he doesn't pick up the charge. They've called a travel on that one. Burnett, strong on the boards, Burnett, but lost control of it when he came down. A little bit concerned about the feet underneath him now. We've got Funding's land out here on Catlangian. Evans on the left-hand side. Bissard again trying to post up underneath. Great hands by Dukas. Back to Hunt. And now Batavia have a chance to go all the way to the basket. No call. Shot up. Basket miss. Burnett comes up with the offensive board. It looks around. Doesn't like anything. Hunt comes up. Off glass. Four plays eight. Superb basketball in that passage. Daryl Pace came from the weak side. Blocked out. Hunt just superb commitment. Buccaneers bring up their fourth point. Eight plays four. What a big moment for Gavin Burnett and Aaron Ducas too in this league. Oh, careless pass. Pace didn't want it. And uh, Hunt deflects the ball, passes the ball out to uh, Ray Chamberlain. He nails it from the baseline. Two points from Chamberlain. And with the score, six playing eight. Only a two-point margin. We've got the first break of the game. Timeout called by Burswood. Another road, see you later. Another long day. Let's have a coke. Can't be here. Can you tell us where the waves are? Hey, 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 you can't stop it. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. Esperance Toyota, your local dealer in Esperance, have gone bananas. They're doing incredible deals on all new vehicles. See Bob Ray for huge savings on the world's most wanted new model Corolla and the stylish new Camry. Check out the rugged and reliable range of Hilux and Land Cruiser commercial vehicles at unbelievable prices. Go bananas at Esperance Toyota and save on superb new vehicles at incredibly low prices. They're the one. Call in and see Bob Ray today. Welcome back to the Perry Lakes Basketball Stadium with a score line of eight, six Brad Chechens. Batavia have bridged that gap. Well, that's basically been through Dan Hunt's superb effort both ends of the court. He really can do everything. Matt Bizard, quiet so far. Vlahov, low post, big step pass, rims out. Good work, Gavin Burnett. Brian Funnings land. The Redbacks back in their defense already. Funnings land for three. In and out, no good. And Evans, I think John is uh, really getting a touch of the ball. Yes, Blahoff now with the ball on the left-hand side. Blahoff absolutely annihilated the Hoffman Cup Hawks in the final quarter last week from that three-point line. But he's given it up and he's now playing inside. Throws the fake. Dan Hunt with good defense got it. But Blahoff showing all of that experience of last year's Olympics in Seoul. And his career at Stanford University went towards Dan Hunt, made the contact got the foul and now goes to the foul line and we've got just barely six minutes remaining half of this quarter gone Brad and it's a very low scoring match yeah well it's six to eight with uh, almost seven minutes gone six minutes gone Vlahov on the line he averages 25 points a game that's going to help his uh, average as well vlahov has been the cornerstone of this Burswood team since he returned from his college career in the States. And of course, Burswood come into this final as favourites, but the Batavia Buccaneers are showing that true grit that they've displayed all year, and they're right in this match. Well, Tommy McLean's been an excellent coach, and uh, by speaking to him earlier in the week, uh, he's certainly got the boys prepared to play. Chamberlain, Hunt, low post, great defence, Andrew Vlahov. Dan Hunt really enjoys that spin-around shot on the baseline from the right-hand side too, and Vlahov knows it. We've got a smart violation called here. Almost a professional foul. Stopped the fast break. But the most impressive thing about Vlahov in that last instance, of course, was the way he got possession. He not only got a hand to the ball and stopped the shot, as many, many young people do these days and slap it out of bounds, he retained possession, got his team back in with a chance. 6-10 the scoreline now in favour of the uh, Burswood Redbacks as we see Peter Catlangian ex-Victorian guard coming across here setting up the play Bissart intercepted by Brian Funningsland he'll go all the way to the hoop with a nice little finger roll over the top and it's still a two-point margin one basket separating these two teams 10 plays 8 well anticipated Brian Funningsland he led the league in assists and in steals so he knows exactly what he's doing out there reads the ball very well not a lot of movement through the keyway as um, 
the Buccaneers are in a man-to-man -man pace on the baseline, nails it, 12 play date, five minute mark. First point for Darrell Pace, he's come in there with that nice post-up shot, Ray Chamberlain now with the right hand, passes off to Tommy McLean, the captain coach of the Batavia Buccaneers, who should play a little more according to all the credit. Go on, great hands by McLean, back to Evans though, Evans again out to Bishart. Bishart puts it to the ground, does not like going left, that man loses possession, McLean back, Burnett, Great intimidation, intimidation. Pace. Superb intimidation by Pace. Vlahov steps round off the glass. No good. Hunt, superb rebound. And they're on the run again. With Buccaneers off the glass. Still no good. And these guys perhaps should go for the ring. That's fundamentally incorrect though. Peter Catalanian. 12 plays 11. Fate, uh, pace with a fadeaway. No good. Falls the Redbacks way. Evans. Redbacks look a little flustered now. They're not playing any offense as Catlangian gets the ball from beyond the three-point range and fires it again. They're pulling the trigger and there's no offense and there's certainly nobody inside. But Tavia Buccaneers looked as if they've gained the initiative. And cert certainly their defense fundamentally has been very, very sound. Gav Burnett laying a body on Andrew Vlahoff, getting him out of the way on that last passage. Hunt posting up, turning around, looking to dish into Burnett. Nothing on. Good hands by Blahoff. He's a lot quicker than what people give him credit for. Good ball control. Pulls it up. Will he have a look? Yes. Catlangian on the right. Pass the three-pointer again, and they're not dropping. McLean comes up with it. We've got a one-point ball game with four minutes remaining in the first quarter. Well, we said all last week through the semi-final against the Hawks that the Redbacks have to be careful if they, they may very well live and die by the jump shot. Burnett misses the drive. Good, good, hands, good outlet, but great hands by uh, Tommy McLean. Great commitment there by Ray Chamberlain to get back and, and foil that long pass. But certainly the Redbacks, whilst they have been favourites to win this match, are finding out why the Batavia Buccaneers finished in the top position of the SBL this year. Several changes made. We've got Ian Frame for the Redbacks. And uh, Renee Lieb has also seen some court time now for the Batavia Buccaneers. With the... Uh, with the Bucks, though, the recruiting was very, very smart. Hunt and uh, Chamberlain and Funningsland all played in the Premiership team last year with the East Perth Eagles. Catlandian goes out to the off-guard spot, so he'll look to shoot a little more. With Ian Frame looking to run the play. Visa in and out. Still, they're persisting with the outside shot and not posting up enough players down low. Well, I think last week the Hoppin' Cup Hawks proved that if you can get right out and put a hand in the face, the Burswood Redbacks are struggling somewhat as we see Ray Chamberlain unsuccessful. Frame with the defensive board. Catlangian on the break. Dishes, wheels, deals, finds pace at the foul line. Bishart unattended underneath. That'll be a foul on Tommy McLean. Bishart was ready to go to the races then. Turning around, spinning. Nice move. And he's played inside a lot tonight, Brad. He has. And he's uh, he, at uh, six foot seven. He's uh, the sort of player that um, everyone dreams about, as it from the coach's point of view. He can handle the ball up the floor very, very well, and he can also take him inside. A lot of uh, speculation around the uh, State Basketball League at the moment about Matt Bissart and Pete Hanson from the Hotman Cup Hawks as to whether they'll be picked up by an NBL club next year. Certainly we know that both have had inquiries from all over the nation as Bissart makes success for the second one. 13 plays 11 in what is proving to be a very dour struggle with a very low scoreline. Funnings land, controlling the game from the point position. Hunt pops out high. Redbacks back into his zone. Hunt again, looking to swing the ball. Tom McLean, he's had experience in finals as well. As Darrell Pace picks up the foul. The uh, Redbacks gave the baseline away. Here's Tommy McLean also played uh, with a successful uh, Coburn Cougars back in 84. Contributed 21 points, was a very good player. There's two fouls for the uh, Burswood Redbacks on Peter Catlangi and their point guard, and two on Bissart. And they could be very concerned with this first quarter, not through as Tommy McLean misses the first one. And a great leap there from Darrell Pace. Duncan Darrell Pace cleaning up the boards. Back to Frame now. Frame spending more time already on the court than what he did last week when uh, Don Shepard went with five and five only. Blahoff, nice wheel and deal. Pace with a hand. Blahoff with his own rebound. Turns around, goes on the baseline. Catlangian at the point guard. Bishart lost control, lost, took his eyes off the ball. He did, and he really does need to... Um, I think he's getting perhaps a little too much of the ball, and he's working too hard as McLean looks from the outside. No good. Hunt, superb vision. 
It's Chamberlain, doesn't want it. It's normally his shot. Hunt off the glass, still no good. Bizarre. It's no slight against Matt Bizarre either. He's a superb player. Nice move, Peter Catnani, and off the glass, 15 plays 11, one and a half in the first quarter. Nice body control by Catlands in there. He's a very experienced point guard, and point guards are a premium in any competition. Ray Chamberlain just on the three-point line, only two points for that. 13 plays 15, we're within the last two minutes of this first quarter as Pace gets the ball underneath, dispossessed by Ray Chamberlain. Great hands, Ray Chamberlain, too. He, he nailed that shot from the uh, out past the 45 and then was back in defence. Daryl Pace is uh, no slow coach either. Johnny can get up and down the floor. He's he got run. a great leap. He should runs. wear a sack hat sometimes. Yeah. He gets up so high. He runs the floor very, very well, and he's playing inside. Not a lot of body there, but certainly leaps very well. Catlangian, Beesheart on the right-hand side. Pace posting, throws the fake. We'll have a travel call. Violation, lifting him the pivot foot before the ball left his hands, and Funding's land once more comes down in control for Batavia. I think the Redbacks have put a little bit too much pressure on themselves too. Um, what I was trying to get at with Matt Bizard as Tom McLean misses. Daryl Pace is certainly a player who likes to get pumped up if things don't go his way. It's um, when you're all pumped up, it's a long way down. Frame, Vlahoff for three. Nails it. 18 plays 13. We're running down to the last minute of the first quarter of the McDonald State Basketball League final on GWN. That's the real danger for the Bucks right now. If Lahoff goes to the outside, he has the range. As Fundingsland also has the range. There's an answer. A three-pointer brings it back to that one basket margin. We're within the last 30 seconds of the match. 26 on the shot clock. 22 on the match clock. So the shot clock doesn't matter. Burswood will play it down looking for one shot or a gimme layup underneath. Lahoff controlling the ball. Back to Bissart. Bissart to Lahoff on the right. Down to 10. Nine remaining in the clock. Blahoff from the right-hand side, unsuccessful. Bissart with the offensive rebound within the key. Puts it down, buries it. 20 plays, 16 as the first quarter end of this 1989 SPL final in favour of the Burswood Redbacks. Tonight's a comedy scorcher. Your favourite graduates are back. And their assignment to mould a brand new generation of recruits into a fighting machine and save their beloved academy. Tonight, 8.40, Police Academy 3 on GWN. Catch Chicken Treats' new gravy training offer. A quarter barbecue chicken, a serve of chips, plus gravy for $3.99. And with every gravy pack, you can buy a can of Coke for only 20 cents. Stealing now. Great moments in sport from Gillette Contour Plus. The home and away VFL games of 1988. Collingwood clashes with Carlton. And during the third quarter, young Steve Silvani, the game blues defender, takes the mark of the year over Craig Stasevich. The Woods went on to win by 23 points. But nothing can take away from Silvani's magnificent moment and this sensational display of aerial grace. Another great moment in sport from Gillette. The best a man can get. Hello there, Gary Duncan from Duncan & Johnson. Most of you are probably aware we have the biggest and best range of sports shoes in town. Plus, each shoe purchase gives you a ticket in the draw to win $1,000 cash. Not only do we have the best range of shoes, we have the best service and lowest prices. Here are a few specials. Lotto Basky 1 and 2, Converse Fast Break, Lotto Elite, Puma Cross Trainer, Dunlop KT26, Adidas Rome. Don't forget, you can win $1,000 cash by buying a pair of sports shoes before the end of October. Duncan & Johnson, Geraldton. Do you want to enjoy the good life? Lay back and just relax? Magnolias has the answer. Hang it here. Hang it there. You can just about hang it anywhere. Order your net chair.